If you've had a fractured elbow or an elbow injury and you have pretty good range of motion, but you're not quite ready to do push-ups or lift heavy weights, then follow along with me in this elbow, forearm, and wrist isometric strengthening exercise routine. The thing I love about isometrics is you don't need any equipment. I'm gonna go ahead and do these exercises on both my right and my left side, but if you only wanna follow along to the exercises on your left side, then go ahead and click ahead. Let's start on the right side. We're gonna tuck the elbow at our side. We're gonna turn our palm up. Now, with all of these exercises, you can curl your fingers, uh, you can open your fingers, whatever's comfortable for you. Sometimes holding on to a pen or pencil or even maybe a towel or washcloth can reduce any kind of strain that you might be feeling in the fingers or sometimes the fingers, the wrist kind of wants to compensate if your elbow's pretty weak. Okay, so go ahead and turn your palm up and you're gonna go ahead and use that left hand and place that left hand underneath your right hand. And what we wanna do is we wanna push down with the right hand as our left hand is resisting. So we're gonna be working on the tricep in a couple of different ways with these next few exercises. So palm up, we're gonna go ahead and push down, hold a few seconds and then relax. That's one. That's two. Push down and resist. Three. Four. Five. You can apply as little or as much resistance as you want. Six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good. Okay. Now let's turn in a thumbs up, more of a neutral thumbs up position. Okay. We're going to go ahead and place our right hand in the palm of our left hand. And now we're going to go ahead and push down again. Ready? Push down, hold a few seconds and relax. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good. Okay. Now we're going to turn palm down. You can do palm down uh, with a fist, or you can go ahead and do it with fingers open, whatever feels like you're getting the most workout in that elbow and forearm there. Ready? Push down and then resist up with that left side and relax. That's one. And again, two, three, four, make sure you have nice stable wrist too with these, five, six, seven, eight, nine and 10. Good. Okay. Now we're going to combine all of those together kind of fast. So we're going to go ahead and do palm up back to neutral palm down. That's one ready. So we're going to work on a little bit of speed here. Ready? So palm up neutral down. That's one palm up neutral down two 
palm up, neutral, down, three, palm up, neutral, down, four, palm up, neutral, down, five, up, neutral, down, six, up, neutral, down, seven, up, neutral, down, eight, up, neutral, down, nine, and up, neutral, down, and 10. Good job. You might be feeling that on both sides. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and work on the bicep. So we're gonna go ahead and turn our palm up and you can curl your fingers or you can leave your fingers open, uh, whatever is comfortable for you. But this time our left hand is gonna come on top and we're gonna be applying a little bit of resistance down with the left as we're resisting up with the right. Push up with the right, resist down with the left. And you wanna hold a few seconds and that's one. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good, okay, now we're gonna go ahead and turn that forearm in a neutral position here. Same thing, pushing up and resisting down. Ready? Push, hold a few seconds. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. nine and 10. Good. Okay. Now let's turn that palm down. Same thing. Let's resist now here. This one, you might feel it a little more in the wrist and in this extensor mass down into the forearm. Ready? Go ahead and resist up as you try to push down. Hold a few seconds and relax. That's one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and 10. Good. Okay. Now what we're going to do is combine that exercise. So if you remember, we're going to do palm up, pressing up neutral and palm down. Ready? So palm up, neutral down. That's one palm up, neutral down two. palm up, neutral down three, Palm up, neutral, down, four. Palm up, neutral, down, five. Palm up, neutral, down, six. Palm up, neutral, down, seven. Up, neutral, down, eight. Up, neutral, down, nine. One more, up, neutral, 
down and 10. Good job. Go ahead and just lightly work that wrist out a little bit, kind of move in a few circular motions. One direction, circular motions the other direction, kind of just lightly go back and forth with that elbow, just kind of loosen that out. Good job. Okay, now our next exercise, we are gonna go into resistive forearm supination and pronation on our right side. We are gonna go ahead and use our left hand to block our right arm from going into pronation or palm down. So you can place your hand in a couple of different ways to block this. If you keep your hand kind of more on the forearm side, you'll be able to block that radius from rotating. And, and therefore that'll be a little more comfortable and effective. If you come more into the wrist, then you might kind of strain the wrist some. So you can do it with a palm open technique. Right hand is trying to rotate palm down and you can hold that a couple of seconds. You can cup the forearm, you can cup it a couple of different ways, whatever is comfortable for you. Ready, hold, that's one, hold, that's two, that's three, that's four, That's five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, good job. And so this time you want to place your left hand on the back side of your right forearm here. And now what you're trying to do is go into a palm up or a supinated position, but your left hand is gonna stop that from happening. So again, you can kind of cup that forearm and, and keep that radius from rotating. So ready, we're gonna go ahead and rotate or try to rotate re and then resist that movement and then relax, that's one. So try to turn that palm up. Again, don't strain too hard at that wrist. Just nice relaxed fingers and wrist. That's two. That's three. That's four. Five. six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good job. Whew. You probably feel like you're getting a workout on both sides. Okay, the last exercise for our right side is gonna be more targeted to the wrist and the tendons that cross the wrist and go down into the forearm. This time you're gonna spread those fingers open and you're gonna bring that wrist up in a little bit of extension. And now what you wanna do is place that left hand and you're gonna go ahead and just apply a little bit of resistance down as you're resisting up with that right hand and those right fingers. So you're gonna go ahead and apply resistance, hold a few seconds, and then relax. That's one. So open up, apply a little resistance, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 
10. Good job. Whew. I bet that arm, that right side is burning a little bit. Go ahead and bring that elbow out straight. Go ahead and turn that palm down, fingers open, bend that wrist. Just feel a nice stretch in all of those muscles that you just worked. Good, and go ahead and turn it up, palm up. Extend those fingers down, and again, stretch those fingers back. Just giving yourself a nice stretch after you worked out. And go ahead and go back and forth a couple of times. Good job. Now there are some cases where you can't apply resistance using your other hand. Say you fractured your right elbow and you're wanting to get some strength, but maybe you injured your left hand or maybe your left hand is really sore because it's been doing so much work as your right elbow was healing. Now there are modifications that you can do. You can do a lot of the exercises in this video using a table. You would just simply push down into the table in a palms down position, in a neutral position, in a palms up position, when you're looking to do the tricep exercises, and then you would then move your hand up underneath the table, then in a palm up position, in a neutral position, in a palm down position to work on the bicep. So as you can see, there's definitely ways to modify that so you can still work on strengthening without overstraining your other side. Okay, now we're gonna do these exercises on our left side. Tuck that left elbow into your side and you're gonna go ahead and turn palm up. Now you can keep the fingers curled or keep the fingers open with all of these exercises, whatever is comfortable for you. You just wanna make sure that you're not straining or compensating with other muscle groups. Left hand turns palm up and we're gonna be pushing up with our right side as our left hand is trying to push down. So we're gonna hold that a couple of seconds, go ahead and push and resist and relax, that's one push and resist, that's two, push and resist, that's three, push and resist, that's four, push and resist, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, good. And remember, you can apply as much or as little resistance as what you need. Okay, now go ahead and turn in a form neutral position. So that's a thumbs up position. And now what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and try to resist down with your left hand as you're resisting up with the right. Ready? So push down and hold a couple of seconds and relax, that's one. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good job. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and turn our palm down. You can do this with your fingers curled or with your fingers open, whatever feels comfortable for you. And we're gonna go ahead and now push down with our left hand as we're pushing against our hand with our right. Ready, so push down. That's one, push down, hold a few seconds. That's two, push down, three, four, five, six, Six, 
seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good job. Okay, now we're gonna combine those together. So remember, we did palm up to neutral to palm down. We're gonna do all those together, kind of fast, working on a little strength and speed. Ready? So palm up, neutral, palm down. That's one. Up, neutral, down, two. Up, neutral, down, three up, neutral, down, four, up, neutral, down, five, up, neutral, down, six, up, neutral, down, seven, up, neutral, down, eight, up, neutral, down, nine, up, neutral, down and 10, Whew, good job. Okay, now we are gonna focus more on the bicep on our left side. So we're, our right hand is going to be applying resistance on the top side now. So now we're going to go ahead and turn our left hand palm up, and now we're gonna go ahead and apply resistance in the opposite direction. So right hand's gonna be trying to push down as the left hand is now going to try to push up against the right hand. So we're gonna go ahead and apply some more resistance in a downward position. And we're gonna hold a couple of seconds here and relax. That's one. That's two. Hold a few seconds. Three. Apply as much resistance as you want. Four. five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good job. Okay, now we are gonna go ahead and turn into that more neutral position or that thumbs up position. And we're gonna go ahead and try to push up with our left side, but our right hand is gonna resist against that. Ready, try to push up, hold a few seconds and relax. That's one, push up, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good job. Okay, now we are going to turn palm down. So turn that left arm palm down, right hand is gonna apply resistance on the back of the hand. Ready, go ahead and apply some resistance. A few seconds there and relax, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, good job. Okay, now we're gonna combine all of those together. We did palm up to neutral to palm down. Ready? So palm up, neutral, down, that's one. Palm up, 
neutral, down, that's two, palm up, neutral, down, three, up, neutral, down, four, up, neutral, down, five, up, neutral, down, six, up, neutral, down, seven, up, neutral, down, eight, up, neutral, down, nine, one more, up, neutral, down, and 10. Whew. Good job. Go ahead and just kind of extend that elbow, move those that wrist around in some circles. Just kind of loosen that up. Good job. Okay, now we're gonna go into isometric form supination and pronation. So again, tuck that right elbow at your side. You're gonna use that right hand to block your forearm from going into pronation for this first exercise. You can place your hand anywhere along the forearm or the wrist. You just wanna make sure that you're not trying to strain the wrist so keep a nice neutral wrist with this. Sometimes holding on to a washcloth can prevent you from doing that. Okay, so go ahead and place that right hand and block that radius from wanting to rotate over that ulna. Ready? We're gonna go ahead and try to turn our palm down, but we're gonna go ahead and push and resist with our right hand. Hold a few seconds and relax. That's one. Two. That's three. That's four. That's five. Six. seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, now we are going to go into supination or palm up. So you wanna take that right hand and you're gonna place it now on the back side of the forearm because now we wanna to try to block the opposite position. So you can place your hand in whatever way is comfortable for you, but the goal is to try to turn palm up, but your right hand is gonna resist that. Ready? So go ahead and try to turn palm up and block. Hold a few seconds and relax. That's one. That's two. Three. That's four. Remember, try not to strain in the wrist or the forearm. That's five. six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good job. Okay, this last exercise, we're gonna go ahead and tuck that elbow at your side. Again, bring your wrist up, fingers open. We're gonna work on the tendons that cross the wrist and come all the way down into the forearm and into the elbow. We're gonna apply a little bit of resistance and try to press down as our left hand is going to resist. Hold a few seconds and relax, that's one. Wrist up, fingers open, hold a few seconds. Two. Three. Four. Five.
six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And 10. Good job. Go ahead and straighten that left arm out and go ahead and bring those fingers down towards the ground. Bend that wrist and go ahead and apply a little bit of a light stretch to all those extensors that you just worked on. Hold a few seconds with that stretch. Go ahead and turn palm up, fingers open down towards the ground and wrist nice and back. Elbow straight if you can. Stretching this flexor side now. And go ahead and go back to that top side, that extensor side. Good, and palm up and go ahead and do that. And you can go ahead and do those a couple of times if you like. Good job. So I hope you feel like you got a really good workout. Don't underestimate isometric strengthening exercises. You can apply as much or as little resistance as you want. It's definitely a great way to build strength and stability in your elbow, in your forearm, and in your wrist. Now I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a like and don't forget to hit that subscribe button below. If you're looking for more elbow exercises, then check out these videos here. Thanks for watching.